Hello, hello. My name is Trevor Kopp, and I'm submitting this video as part of my application for the Chaos Project. Uh, and I'd like to speak on the topic of um, on on chaos, of course, and of where. Um, let me just cite down exactly what you said here. What that order, all notions of order are myth, and the only order of the universe is chaos. First of all, I love questions like this in which my answer says much more about me than I could ever say about the topic. Because really, what could I ever say about the scale of the universe and the scale of human experience? I just, um, I've done a lot of traveling the last year, and that makes me think a lot about scale. And after a trip like that, I'm just really concluding, really clear that I have nothing authoritative to say on the scale of the universe. And these big questions like, why are we here? And well, art, Shakespeare, all these big, big questions, they my answer says much more about where I'm at, what I'm thinking, my position, all that, than it ever will about these questions. And I celebrate that. So personally, I imagine an order to the universe that is so vast that it exceeds our ability to grasp it in its complexity. And as a result, we can't grasp that, but we can grasp little spin-offs, little vestiges of order that come to us in the form of art. Like when you mention myth here, I take the, I hear myth, but I really take it as art. As any time we're able to create experience and set it beside another experience, the sounds of these instruments sound like happiness. And here's a song as a metaphor for a certain ex kind of happiness, for example. So we get these little bits and pieces of order where all of a sudden the connection between those dogs howling and, and the certain colors of blue come together in a painting and we're able to understand something better because art has put it together. So we get little tiny spin-offs that keep pointing us up towards the idea of a large universe of order that makes sense, that is unified, but we can only point to it. We can't actually grasp it. And I think that's kind of beautiful. I think that the end of art, when we have figured out every metaphor and every comparison, and we've put them all together in every possible way, is the end of time. And that's what we're all hopefully reaching for. Thanks very much.